all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all leaks? So, before we even get into this, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. If you want to follow me on Twitch, the link is in the description, twitch.tv slash royaltiesworldceo. I am doing this video live on Twitch is why I promote it in the beginning of the video. And y'all don't be coming over here because y'all act like y'all don't be knowing. But... If you want to wait for the video, that's fine. If you don't, pull up. Now, this video is rather problematic, and uh, we're going to have to address it. Um, I'm going to let her speak first. So basically, Danny Lay allegedly was supposed to do an interview at a radio station, and she allegedly did not, excuse me, want one of the radio host to interview her the lady is alleging that she in fact was supposed to be at this interview and she tried to get her removed and girl she read her for the gods okay go i don't know why probably got high school parents who the hell knows but she was set to do an interview with the morning show and she requested that i kendra g be removed from the interview because she was uncomfortable talking to me Girlfriend, this ain't wildin' out. You ain't gonna be Simone me. <laughs> now your whole interview has been canceled, but I'm trying to figure out why didn't you want to talk to me in the first place? I actually be on the radio defending your honor. I really felt the way when your baby daddy played you on that infamous IG Live and I defended you on the radio. Now, shout out to be Simone, who I know in real life, rock with in real life, but I actually understood why you didn't want to do Wild and Out with her. But I'm still trying to figure out why the hell you ain't want to talk to me. Now, are you nervous? I'm going to ask you the questions that need to be asked. Like, are you still sleeping with your baby daddy after he beat your brother up and played you on the IG Live? And you know what? I probably would have asked you that question because I need to know because if you forgave him that means I need to forgive him it's the if you forgave him then we need to why are women like that <laughs> are you nervous I was gonna bring up that whack ass yellow bone song now sis ain't gonna ever live down this yellow bone I'm not gonna lie Th that was a huge huge one 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 in the chat again that was a huge 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 mistake for her to make that yellow bone song yo and then she was like she was coming for the baby's uh, baby mama, Mimi, the originator, <laughs> the original baby mama with the first baby. She was coming from her. That was the whole point of the Redbone song. She just played herself. Girlfriend, I don't care. You can make a song about your skin tone and, and celebrate it. I love being a dark skinned woman. Ain't no whack ass song like that gonna make me insecure about my complexion. Are you nervous that I was gonna ask you like, how did it feel to be a girlfriend thinking you was better than all the baby mamas just to become a baby mama and get treated worse now when she said that i was like damn <laughs> I, say it again my complexion are you nervous that i was gonna ask you like how did it feel to be a girlfriend thinking you was better than all the baby mamas just to become a baby mama and get treated worse <laughs> like damn you know what i'm saying like <sighs> the problem is danny lay kind of disrespecting Mimi and, and, and the, the 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 majority is with Mimi and it's because of the way she is she was the original baby mama how she was discovered blah 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 Mimi just ain't one of them you can play with so the way Mimi handled herself I think women like that more and she also tried the yellow bone shit which was an absolute colorist move and the ladies is not feeling that you know what I'm saying it's like you're trying to give a you trying to divide our women again, you know. Shout out to the uh Chapri, Chapel, Chaparral, whatever friend. Shout out to you for following me, okay? Like, women did not like the fact that she was trying to separate our women. It's always a thing. All of our women are beautiful. Light, dark, don't I don't give a damn what shade you are. You know, we all are beautiful in our own right, just as Danny Lay is. But he want that yellow bone. He want that, like, 
you played yourself, friend. And that's gonna go on forever. That ain't ever dying, y'all. This gonna this gonna live with her forever. And you know what, Diddy Lay? I probably would have asked you all those questions because guess what? That's my job. That's what I do. I ask the questions that the people want to know. Maybe you should focus on your job, be in the studio and make a hit, and we can't talk about your music and not about your personal life. That's not my fault that your personal life is more relevant than your music. That's your fault. Woo! You were around here trying to get people removed from interviews. It don't go down like that. Now you miss out on the opportunity to have a radio interview on number one urban station in Chicago. And guess what? This opportunity might not come around again because your music ain't popping. Oh. So with that being said, sit your goofy ass down. Enjoy Chicago while you're here. Girl, not told her to sit her goofy ass down for me. So she said all this and allegedly um, Danny Lay saying this ain't true. Appreciate the sub, friend. Danny Lay said, this ain't true. She said, okay, this isn't true. Crying uh, emojis. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Uh, I've never heard anything about this interview. Now, I don't know if she was really supposed to be on this interview or not because she kind of fabricated that story with B. Simone. Tried to say that it was something that it wasn't, but it really was. So in this situation, I don't necessarily know if I could believe her. So Kendra came back and said, to be clear, I have no reason to lie. Furthermore, I work at a professional radio station that would never allow me to make a claim like this if it wasn't true, period. And that's how I was feeling. Like, ain't no way you work at a radio station and the radio station is the one who approves whatever it is that you put out. And she just put that out and it'd be a lie? Not likely. I just feel as though... Um, Danny Lay, ah, she might have some growing to do. And, you know, once again, this is a legend. I'm going to keep saying that before she try to get me dismissed, Sonny. This is a legend. I don't know if, if it's true or not. But, friend, if it is true, come on now. You got to leave people alone. <laughs> okay? I, I also feel like, you know, it's easy to believe because she made that Yellow Bone song and it was so problematic at that time because it's like you're trying to divide the women, you know, you're trying to divide the sisters and, you know, like the way she came at his baby mom, it was just a lot, you know, and for a woman to try and divide anybody, you know, it's, it's, a, it's just a crab and a barrel mentality, man. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do y'all think that Danny Lay did do this? Sis says she don't know about the interview. <laughs> I don't know who to believe. <laughs> but she says she don't know the, about the interview. She may not have. It might be her team. But then again, on Kendra's side, I don't think a radio station would allow her to say that if it wasn't true. So I don't know. Maybe... Danny Lay got somebody in her team, you know, playing with her. I don't know. I don't know. But, man, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.